Links to socials such as Aussie, Mastodon, on Twitter, and Instagram will be in the description below so you can go check those out. Now let's get into the video. So to make enemies say you want to have an Area 3D node and then you can have a collision polygon as a child of that Area 3D node and you want to have three points so you have a 2D triangle at first. I give it a depth of two. The first position is at negative 25 on the x-axis so that should be over here somewhere and then the y is at 35. This y just determines how far out it is and the x determines how far away that is. And then for point one uh, it is positive 25 on the x x-axis and positive 35 on the y-axis and then for point two i just have zero and zero for both the x and y-axis and then you want to have a ray cast node with cast 2 set to negative 100 and enabled set to true you will need this enabled because if it's not enabled then it won't do anything and you want to not change any of this if you want to you can add a collision mask so it only collides with the player but i will not be doing that in this video and then you want to have a script on your enemy and then you want to connect the area body entered to that script and then you just want to say if body dot is in group player then we just want to say player is equal to body player is a variable up here and i have it typed as a kinematic body this will be a rigid body or whatever else your player is in your game and this will also not work if your player is not in the group of player. And then in our process function, we just want to say if player is not equal to null, then we just want to say vision cast dot look at. So this ray cast right here, we want to look at the player dot translation with vector three dot up. And then if that vision cast is colliding and we get its collider and its in group player, we want to say scene player to true. And the scene player is just a boolean by default it's set to false because we do not want to see the player on start and whenever this vision cast sees the player we just want to set it to true and then in our process we just want to say if scene player you can do any logic you want i have the position 3d node right here and then i have it lerp to the uh player dot global transform dot origin looks b times delta and then i have the player center just have this little vector 3 here uh y set to 1.5 because the pivot of the player is actually not the center of it and then i tell the base enemy to look at the player pause dot translation so this position 3d node up here and uh vector 3 dot up and then i tell the weapon to look at the player center vector 3 dot up and then i just say self dot rotation degrees dot x is equal to zero that prevents it from rotating like this to look at the player and then i just say if type is equal to type dot offensive i just say move to target um <clears throat> I have an uh, enum here type, I have defensive and offensive, and then I export this type and just called it var type in lowercase, and by default just set to type dot defensive. So if we are currently offensive, then I just have it moved to target. And then the move to target is just standard pathfinding logic. And then the get target path is just standard pathfinding logic as well. So that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Helps out channel, helps get content like this to recommend to others. That's all from me for now. Funny Bird out.